Now we're going to go over how to change the photos that pop up if you have a Nest Hub or a Nest Hub Max. So you're going to go ahead and open the Google Home app and you're going to find your hub and you're going to go ahead and tap on it. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and hit the settings gear here in the top right. Once here, you will see all the settings for the device specifically, and you want to go down to where it says photo frame. Now, if you're doing this on an iPhone, um, you're going to find the settings by going to the same place for photo frame. It's just, I think, a little further down the list, so you might have to keep scrolling till you find photo frame. Go ahead and click that, and you have a couple different options here. Um, the first option is you can select albums from your Google Photos library. You can um, select the art gallery here, and you can select different kind of art gallery stuff that Google has. Um, you could just do a full screen clock um, that's up all the time. Um, or there's some other options too as well. Um, also here you have some information you can have it show or hide. So your photos are going to show up when basically de the device is in um, sleep mode or ambient mode, kind of as they call it. So when it's not being used, it's just going to show these photos. And it can also show information like the weather. You can have it show or hide that, the time. Um, personal photos uh, data basically just means um, if you have selected a shared album, through Google Photos, it's going to pop up with the person's name who actually added that photo to that shared album. Um, so you can have that show or you can hide that if you want. Um, it's up to you. Um, then portrait Google Photos. So again, this is if you selected a album from Google Photos. Um, if they're portrait photos, um, you can have them show in pairs or just show individually. Um, I do show in pairs just because it um, based on the format of the screen, it just looks better. Um, but that's up to you. Um, and then this is just uh, personal photo curation. Um, you can do live albums only. Um, again, that's a Google Photos um, specific kind of thing. So you can mess with that if you want to. And down here is the slideshow speed. So this will be how long it takes to switch between each, each picture when it's in ambient mode here. Um, so again, it's up to you. You can go from five seconds, you know, kind of up to 10 minutes. Um, you can't set your own custom time at this point, but you can just select from the options here. So now we're gonna scroll back to the top and we're gonna go ahead and do the Google Photos option. So if we tap on that, it'll load all of your albums. As you can see, I don't have many albums on under this account, just the one with my cat. Scooby. Um, so you will see all of your albums here and even your shared albums. Um, and you can select multiple multiple al albums if you have them to show and it'll shuffle through the albums um, when it shows the photos. So you're not limited to one album. You can select multiple if you want. So as you can see, I selected that one. So I'll go back and that is the album that will show up um, on my device. Um, now that I've changed those settings. So that's how you go and change what photos will appear on the display when it's in ambient mode. I hope that helps.